What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Holding in the Road. Mr. Gray Fox, Big Bad Harold. Going on with y'all now? Man, let me tell you something. Uh, we got a couple of horrible stories to, to share with you today, man. And, and it's yes, uh, these toxic relationships that we get ourselves in. I mean, man, uh, I know it's cliche about choosing better and things like that. But accountability is, is is another word that needs to be held out there because uh, oh, yeah. if if you as a man cannot control your emotions, you're not a man. No, you're not a man. No. You know you are an you are an adult male, but you don't get the title of man because you can't control yourself, man. Uh, let's check this story out. from her head to her hips and stomach. The shooting victim spoke with our Aaron Maben today about the dangers of domestic violence. Here's Aaron's story. My arms, my back, my legs, my stomach. Covered in bullet holes and a bandage, Nakia Shoemake shares her wounds after being shot 23 times. When it was happening, I wasn't counting. I was scared. On July 23rd, Shoemake says she was driving with her partner, Askia Strong, and their three children. Shoemake says Strong tried showing inappropriate pictures to their daughter. And I was just driving and saying, don't show that to my daughter. Near 24th and Lapham, she says he hit and started threatening her. I found out he had the gun into... After he hit me and my daughter yelled, Mom, he have a gun? That's when Shoemake says she parked her minivan and ran. Prosecutors say Strong chased after her, shooting again and again while she laid on the ground, their children nearby. The moment I opened my eyes and I still was able to see, I just tried to stand up. And once I was able to stand straight, I just got my babies. A woman took Shoemake to the hospital. Strong is facing several charges, including attempted homicide. That's a coward. That's not a man. Cameron Lacking is supporting his sister throughout her recovery. She's very strong. Got to be strong to go through something like this. Shoemake says she never thought what she was going through would escalate to this. She wants other domestic violence victims to hear her story. If a guy hit you once or even disrespect you, he's not for you. And they should get out. So that's the video of the young lady, Nakia, being in a obvious toxic situation. Glad um, she survived. Glad she survived that situation. She, she survived to tell her story. Um, and then, as y'all seen in the video, it's going from the man clearly doing something inappropriate, you know, trying to show his little girl something inappropriate. They had a disagreement. She told him not to show it to him. He gets so upset, so emotional, you know, like Fox said, you're so emotional, you get out, out, out of place that you, your, his, his little girl got to scream and say, mommy, daddy got a gun. So in fear, Nakia runs and get out the car and you chase behind her? This coward chase behind her and shoot her in the back over 20 times, man. And, um, and this little girl had to see that. But the woman was strong enough to survive the shots, get up and get her kids to get away from that. But uh, toxic relationships, man, you got to get away from it. He'd been abusive for a while and it came to a head that day. And she's lucky she survived that encounter, man. Man, why would you be trying to show your old girl daughter some inappropriate pictures in the first place? You're a fool. You're a damn fool. I, I just don't understand what some women see in these types of dudes. Thuggo. Thuggo. Oh, yeah. Thuggo, man. Shout out to Black Ram uh, 313. Oh, oh Thuggo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Rears his ugly fucking head again. Oh, oh. Thuggo. You know, you showing your girl daughter some inappropriate pictures. Y'all get into some type of argument or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You pull some fire on your girl. Then you chase her down and try to kill her. Try to kill her, man. Ugh. Over this, Th this, this dude, really, I mean, they're going to throw him away. Oh, please throw him away. 
<laughs> Please throw, throw away. away. You understand what I'm saying? But you, he, hey. this is the type of person that needs to be thrown away. Yep. But what I would like to see start happening is before they throw him away, or oh, while he's gone, Mm -hmm. Somebody going, you know, after everything. Now you ain't got no pistol on. You ain't bad. Ain't yeah, no yeah, yeah. You ain't tough guy. No more. need for you to be bad no more because <laughs> oh, you yeah. ain't going nowhere. Uh -uh. What I would like to start hearing and seeing is, you know, uh, they need to sit this person down with a psychologist to kind of see where this where this shit coming from. Yeah. See if there's a, a common denominator. You know what I'm saying? A common thread. You know what I mean? That that we can uh start to look at and i know a lot of people out there listening right now are gonna say it's the lack of fathers in homes and you understand part what of it. it's part single of it. parent households and you know what i'm saying our yeah, yeah, coaches yeah. just screwed up yeah, yeah but you know what make that individual person you know just make a decision like that that drastic. You know what i mean because i think yeah. it's a build up you know I, I i think that you grow into these types of people that that you've made such bad decisions along the way yeah. that now that you 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 just become this fucking monster oh yeah you know what yep. i mean an absolute oh, yeah. menace to society you know what i mean and you explode on your girl or somebody yeah. that you claim somebody you love yeah yeah exactly you get yeah. what i'm saying exactly man i tell you I, I can't speak nothing but bad you know what i mean i, I know it's power in the tongue yeah. but uh i can't speak nothing but bad i can't i can't help but hope for nothing but bad for this somebody person. puts some spot on for his ass. For the hand. rest of his days, yeah. you understand yeah. what I'm saying? For the rest yeah. of his days. And I know, like I say, you know, you get in prison and you get around your, your boys or whatever. Now you bad again. He tough again. Oh, yeah. You're right you enough. ain't got a damn thing to lose. You don't even yeah. care about your own life. Yeah. And people that's, that's, that's locked up, that's just trying to do time, and you know what I'm saying, come home, don't even deserve to be around people. Around that cat, no. Like no. this hell motherfucker. No. Hell no. It hell. should be a special place, not only in hell, but mm -hmm. a special place for you to live like you in hell right here. You don't yeah, He don't need to be comfortable. No, he don't need to be comfortable, man. I ain't, I, I ain't got no sympathy for, sympathy for this dude. No. You know what I mean? But people that's out there in toxic relationships, again, Neely Fuller Jr. got something called first time, last time. Yeah. The first time either one of y'all start to put y'all hands on each other, it's, it's over. over. It's over. And it's let over. it be over. Yep. You understand what I'm yep. saying? Another cliche that's to survive the so, uh, the test of time is that there's plenty of other fish in the sea. It is. You will find somebody else. And yep. sometimes if you can't find nobody else, it's, it might be better to be alone. Right. Uh, you don't want to be dead. She's lucky and blessed that she ain't dead, man. Some people don't get to survive that encounter, man. Ain't exactly. No Sadly, the dating market is full of toxic people. It is, it is. So sometimes it might just be best to be alone. You know what I mean? Until you can find something just that's just genuinely for you. Genuinely and consistent, man, because you know people change. You know, he could have been a nice guy, upstanding guy at the beginning, and as the years went on, he, he turned to that monster, like you said. But once you see it, especially when you got kids, but once you see that, just just leave it. Leave it alone, man. It but ain't worth it. But but that's when it comes. That's why I said that I'd like to see somebody, if it was a build up like that, if you started yeah. out as a night, what changed you, man? Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? What led you, what made you make that decision? To go that far. Just to go that far, man. And, you know, we, we don't know what their full relationship was, but no man who can't control his emotions. This man got a he pistol. No, he ain't no man. And shot, is that he ain't no man. And shot at his old lady, he shot the killer. Mm -hmm. Like a damn fool, man. Oh yeah. Oh, you yeah. know, so, so yeah, yeah. He don't, he don't even deserve that man type, title, man. This, this male that, that committed this act, man, I don't, I don't want nothing good for him, man. Oh, yeah. I, want, oh, I want cats like Christopher Police to put some stuff oh, on his hand. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. I, hey, I, I want yeah. him to put him in the cell. Cell with, mates. With, oh, yeah. With, with Big Bubba and all that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, you had a woman, you know, mm -hmm. and, and show your daughter some bullshit like you showed her, man. Mm -hmm. um, but you know that that's, that's really all I got for that, man. If you're in a toxic relationship, get out of that, man. Don't don't be around for it. that's male or female, whatever side it is. If you start getting an abusive relationship, leave it. It ain't worth it. You oh, got yeah. to get your own self worth about yourself. Pray if you need to pray. Get that strength to get away from it, man. Cause it could end up bad, man. We mm -hmm. see it all the time. We see it all the time. Man. I would just, uh, you know, I'm thankful that she survived you know what i mean yeah. and and I, I i pray that the sister you know what i mean uh not only do she heal but she also help you yeah. know what i mean uh other you know young ladies and young women that's out there in, in, yeah. in these situations like that right there you know yeah. what i mean so you know 
someone, she, hopefully she can, you know, her story can help save someone from going through the shit that she went through. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But anyway, man, uh, as always, y'all live right, play fair. I'll let